for the camera, guys. Um, ready to begin an exciting week, inshallah, Tana, with uh, helping our Syrian refugees, uh, spending time with the orphans, uh, visiting our Palestinian refugees, helping the local needy population here, um, doing some sightseeing as well. You are the home for us. Don't give up, no despair There's nothing you can't repair You can change With your soul With your soul to offer even though they don't have whether it's just a smile or anything like that. Um, I was really able to connect with the Syrians because I am Syrian. <laughs> At this particular disability center, um, there was a girl who was thinking about full esteem. <laughs> and it just really got to me and Some say, how can any father stand? See his children across many lands suffer so. Give no helping hand, no helping hand. Somewhere tonight, 
far away and out of sight There's a child that's too weak to cry Deep in those eyes Can't you see him in disguise Reaching out to the heart that's in you And I In every tear that is well That trickles down on the face that cries without a sound. We need you now. We need you now. What a we're bringing the items from one of the family's houses and we're putting them in helping hands build houses. And we're going to try to, inshallah, give all of these families one of the helping hands houses. Somewhere inside. There's a part of you that asks why Would he leave so many souls for Before this trip, well, I heard about this trip through my sister because she came last year. And when she came back, um, all she ever talked about for that whole year was this trip. And when I told her that I was going to go and I really wanted to come to Jordan and, and work, with, work with everyone here, she told me that it was going to be the best experience of my life and that I was going to work with the greatest people. Today was so hard to leave one of the girls. As I was reaching out for her hand from the bus, she was like, she was, she was like, I'm going to cry because I'm leaving her. And we literally spent five minutes, and I'm, I'm just honored that I made such an impact in her life for those few moments. And, and you guys are, get to do this every single day. May Allah bless you all to be able to go back to those kids and visit them. And inshallah, I hope we can continue that as we go back to our own states and our own spaces and bring that joy to them even if we're so far away so thank you so much assalamu alaikum um, i just want to start off by saying thank you to helping hands for giving us all this opportunity to come here and you know experience something that as noor said you know we learn we hear about on social media and on news all the time but actually being here and witnessing and interacting with these children and these families it's a whole nother world it it kind of makes it realistic in a sense. Um, you know, seeing their living conditions and, uh, and whatnot. But something that I really noticed is that despite, um, you know, the living conditions that these people are in, they're so incredibly kind. And like today in the tents, um, you know, they're literally living under cloth and they're handing us, um, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> Sorry, but I, I um, and you know they're they're giving us tea and from the little that they do have, and they're so grateful and and um, you know their faith in Allah is just so strong, and it's just something that I will never forget and that I hope that I can take back and you know help them more. <laughs> Subhanallah, it's been completely eye opening. It actually was not my first trip um, to the refugee camps. So I've visited the refugee camps before. I've visited refugees before. I've but this was something very different about uh, this trip in particular. The Can't you see him in the sky, reaching out to the heart that's in you?